life throws you whatever you're going through, just keep fighting. Just keep fighting. It's a motto a Greenwood woman lives by after not only overcoming a COVID diagnosis, but working through a complication of the virus that left her unable to walk. Our Nikki Dimitri shares Amber Lutke's story tonight. I've just seen so many patients who just are struggling to overcome that COVID diagnosis. Amber Lutke is one of those patients. The 32 year old spends several days a week working to regain strength, stability, and the like after she was diagnosed with Gian Barre, a rare condition where a body's immune system attacks the nerves. IU Health physical therapist Rachel Han is treating Lukey and another patient for GB. A lot of times it's something that can be overlooked and it can be really serious if not diagnosed and treated early enough. In March of 2020, Lukey first got COVID 19, and with it came the feeling of pins and needles down her leg. Doctors, you know, couldn't figure out really what was going on. Um, it was just COVID, so I just kind of lived with it. Her symptoms, well, they never really went away, but instead worsened this past December. That's when she caught COVID again. This time, she lost feeling in her legs, and the numbness and tingling spread to her arms. Am I, am I going to die? Am I? What, what's going on? What's going on with my body? What do I do from here? Doctors diagnosed her with GB, adding it was a complication from COVID-19. She spent time in the hospital and started PT. That's when she regained the ability to walk just in time for her wedding a month later. Then when we get home, I'm back to square one. I pushed it a little too hard and I'm back in the hospital for another 12 days. After another hospital stay, the newlywed went through intense physical therapy for a second time to regain the ability to walk once again. Now, six months after the initial diagnosis, Lukey will soon wrap up PT sessions. You have to keep fighting. Um, you can't give up with this. You can't give up with GB because, you know, it, the question I kept asking myself is how badly do you really want it? Just keep fighting. It's a slogan that carried Lukey through the toughest days, and it's now a message both her and Han want others to take away from this entire situation. I went through something so traumatic, but at the same time, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about myself. I'm a, I'm very strong. 94% of Working for you, Nikki Dementry, WRTV. Ludke is expected to make a full recovery. The 32 year old is hoping that by sharing her story, others will know how to identify GB and will take COVID-19 seriously. Signs of Guillain-Barre include the sensations of pins and needles in toes, fingers, ankles, or wrists. Other symptoms include weakness, unsteadiness on your feet, and double vision, among other things. Updated COVID-19 vaccines could be on the way in time for the fall. This week, the FDA's Committee of Independent Advisors recommended that vaccines should be updated to target the latest Omicron variant. ABC News reports that recommendation kicks off the process for distrib distribution of the new vaccines this fall, but the FDA will make its final decision sometime in early July. The agency says health officials are aiming to roll out the newly designed vaccines in early October ahead of a potential surge this upcoming winter.